So, you know, all this business and I talk about absolute relative and, and stuff like that and the practice can't be blah, blah, blah. Forget it all. Don't worry about it. Okay. Cause it's not going to make any difference to you. So, um, you know, I just toss it out because it's true. <laughs> okay. You know, it's not gonna make it because, you know, when you practice anything, when you take up any kind of practice, you're going to invent something. You're probably going to take on somebody else's invention, like you do Zen or Vipassana or you do, uh, I don't know, Hare Krishna or whatever. I don't know, you do some, some, some practice, you know, and you'll take up some kind of practice. What other practices are there? Who cares? Uh, 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 <clears throat> and then, you know, you try to do what they tell you to do and, make progress but in any case um i'm just saying that you know always remember it's you it's always up to you it's nothing else that's what direct is so if you're interested in direct consciousness at all that's you period end of story and that's what you really are okay if we make a distinction between your experience of yourself and the real nature of you, you know? I'm talking about the real nature of you. It says you, you have to do it. And since the only thing you have, right, is your experience of yourself and your, your mind and all those activities that you can do, then those have to devote themselves to something that's like, mm. kind of, uh, you don't know where it's going. Yeah, uh, you know, out of reach. And then, you know, you have an enlightenment, you know, or two or three or five, and you, you know, have insights and breakthroughs. And then, you know, you will, you will confuse your enlightenments for um, the state that occurs to you or the knowledge or the thing, the, the relative stuff that occurs for you when you have it, see? And it takes uh, more work to get beyond that. <clears throat>